wasting some time here with the tier 7 mayhem. Uh, World of Warships, obviously. Big surprise. Anyways, I really do like the mayhem. One of the uh, things I really like about the American Destroyers, after you get this uh, advanced firing training, it boosts your uh, actual gun range out by 20%. And we'll go back to the stats here, and you'll see my main battery firing range is 14 kilometers. In the video, I say it's like almost 15 or something. That's because I'm uh, just uh, being silly. Anyways, really like this ship. Uh, and one of the things I really like about it is that starting with the uh, the Nicholas tier uh, tier five, you get guns. You get the 127s, and at close range, the 127s to the tier five and under cruisers, you can uh, rip them apart in the Citadel if they're flat to you. If not, um, if they're not flat to you, obviously you're, you're gonna get a lot of bounces. But if they are showing the broadside, and they tend to do that a lot because they're not expecting it, they you can just rip up their citadel, just uh, that big huge uh, boiler area, just put some shots into it. So that's about 7K and under you can do that. Uh, farther than that, it's uh, the angle is too steep, and they're just gonna bounce or whatnot. But you get down to that uh, 7K and under, especially 6K and under, you can really put a lot of hurt on uh, cruisers, tier five and under. It's one of the main things I uh, wanted to show about this video. I had a game like that. I generally don't like to get that far. I like to, since I have that extended range, I usually like to stay off a bit to, since I have short gun range. And I'm going to start over because my wife just walked in. All right. A slight interruption from your routine planning or programming. Anyways, so, yeah, to finish up. So I don't like to get that close with this, but when you do find yourself uh, that close in your out of torpedoes or your torpedoes missed and you're against a tier 5 and below cruiser load some AP and let them have it anyways hope you enjoy the gameplay come back and see me alright here in the tier 7 mayhem on hot spot it's actually a really good matchmaker for uh, for the mayhem you know being tier 7 it's a top tier match never gonna complain about the matchmaker when it does that for me no carrier so we're not gonna get spotted uh, constantly by a good knowledgeable CB driver that wants to ruin your day because that still happens anyways I really do like the mayhem and uh, dogs in the other room are being noisy you may hear that anyways mayhem I, I like the mayhem I like the guns I have the captain skill that extends the range on it out to uh, little I think it's right under 15k I think uh, <clears throat> I just accidentally hit the tab button my finger there for a second anywho we're gonna go into C on hotspot like I was saying I like the mayhem it's a good good ship just uh, kinda get some bad tearing a lot it seems like and kinda out of your depth then this is fully upgraded the mayhem and I uh, have the 6.4k torpedoes or 6.2 doesn't really really matter. I can't torp from uh, stealth anyways. Usually is a interesting fight going to sea. And also, you know, this uh, match gives you opportunity for me to show off the uh, American uh, guns on the destroyers are actually pretty good as far as uh, penetration for some cruisers. Not all of them. Like uh, Cleveland's, there's no point in using AP. Uh, uh, you know, the Oba and up on the Japanese uh, cruiser line, no, no point either. But everything below that, you can penetrate. So tier 5 and under cruisers, you can just uh, give them a world of hurt. Enemy Farragut right there. Give him some uh, shots. One for the island too. Spazzing out with the uh, zoom in button. Happens. Diving in here. That's where mm, I believe we've spotted two, two of the destroyers there. I was gonna dive in there, but I saw that Cleveland show up, and uh, that makes me not want to go in there at all. And this is why I shot that island a second ago because. I don't like them. Bane of my existence. Anyways, so the Cleveland looked like he was turning off. So I decided to turn back around. 
and Marblehead. Our Marblehead let's launch some torpedoes in there. Some uh, torpedo prospecting. And now I'm going to dive back in. Since the Cleveland didn't go in there, we're we're good to go for some combat. And it's just all the enemy destroyers are in there. Let's go blow them up. And uh, swings and some misses. Because failure is an option. Shoot the island some more because I don't like islands. Try to get around this corner so I can shoot the gentleman. There we go. I was thinking about some torpedoes, but then I saw the Nicholas, our Nicholas behind him. I said, that's probably not a great idea. I need to start pouring a lot of fire into this guy. And there's the kill. And he gets out the torpedoes on our, uh, our friendly destroyer there. Hits him, takes him down pretty low. Right now I'm looking at that Omaha and considering, but there's a lot of smoke laid there, so that's why I decided to uh, go ahead and get in there. Because he is about to kill our Nicholas. And this guy, I don't, I'm pretty sure he was stuck on the island or something. I don't know what exactly he was doing there. I'm certainly willing to help. Blow him up. He's backing up and his uh, engine's out. some more fire into them. These islands are really, really dangerous. Uh, a lot of times you just get completely wrecked in here. Amy Omaha is coming in. Launch some torpedoes his way. Not really expecting him to come in. And this uh, marblehead in front of me, right there, was not expecting him. Decided to uh, slow down, make a Smoke cloud of protection. Try to sit here. And trying to kind of scoot back just a little bit because that's where they knew I was. Big thanks to our friendly marblehead that spots this guy. Pretty sure in a moment. Trying to get some torpedoes on him. This makes me wish I didn't uh, launch my other torpedoes a minute ago. I was hoping this spread would kill him, but uh, he he knew what was up, and I have that other Omaha behind me. So I decided, well, we're gonna have to do something about this. So I switched to AP. Come out of my smokes cloud here. He's engaging the, our Marble Hood on our uh, other side here. Load AP, shoot right into this guy's boiler room. Get some nice hits on him. Just take out those uh, big chunks of health. And he's down. Four Citadel hits, turn back around. Our Marlboro head is almost dead now. Decided to do the same thing to this Omaha. It does seem like you can generally penetrate uh, tier 5 and under cruisers about 7k and under. I haven't really attempted to do it farther than that just because the angle gets kind of wonky and you just uh, hear a lot of bounces. Maybe possible. Anyways, he's going to take out our friendly here. And there he is. He's gone. Right now, this uh, Omaha, he's such low health. And if we can get out there and put the hurt to him, trade may be worth it. Looking to torpedo the guy at the moment. Hello, torpedo delivery. And there he is, right there. Still have AP loaded. Try to put it in there, but he angles against it. And they do have to be really, really flat. But I mean, he got up into the face of a cruiser with torpedoes. Not a cruiser, a destroyer with lots of torpedoes. That is the last mistake he'll make. 
and uh, overkill is underrated so we launched two spreads into that gentlemen take a drink of my tea excuse me alright put some fire on this Nagato his guns are facing the other way so I feel perfectly safe at the moment doing this and he's just uh... that's just free damage so why not and he's out of sight enemy Miyogi is coming in notice him finally took a minute excuse me <coughs> notice him try to share some uh... HE with the gentleman I don't think he appreciates it dodge some shots there's a for a talker right there he's rudely shooting at me it's not friendly anyways head towards him about to have our speed boost back up and if we can cut down this range we can put some uh, AP shots I already reloaded AP I am uh, I don't want to shoot it now because it's a little too far I'm not going to be as uh, reliable and we only need two or three to kill him get to the engine boost I'm trying to use this island to kind of get closer without him seeing me but he's he's for a talker they're nice and fast anyways we are uh, under 7k so we can start uh, getting some citadels on him and he is nice and flat juking right now and he's turning in so you, I'm getting those bounces and he's turning back out so I popped my smoke because he took my engine out and that's, that's just no good I don't know why I it's basically a waste of torpedoes what I just did there it happens anyways he's nice and close Put out some more shots. There is the first little on the gentleman, and the last is coming up. Blind shot and a kill. <laughs> uh, if only he had seen that new way. I shot him without seeing him. That would make me happy. Anyways, there's a. Colorado. I'm kind of considering should I want to go take B or do I want to try to ambush Colorado? And I think we all know what the answer to that's going to be. So I want to torpedo something, please. Thank you. Could have gone down there. Nagato was down there. Cleveland was down there also. So I mean, eh, not really, really worth it. I don't know why so many uh, large ships went into sea. I mean, it's it's just really a big death trap. But you know, if that, they want to do that, that's that's cool. Trying to use this island. Uh, so something that you might want to take note of if you ever try this uh, little little sneaky maneuver on this little area on hotspot. Yeah, those uh, those buildings and they don't stop anything. Just so you know, there's an enemy. I was hoping he wouldn't be able to shoot me, but yeah, those don't do anything. <laughs> it's just it's kind of there. He does hit the island with the others, so that's nice. And I'm trying to hide as much as possible. Honestly, I don't know why he just didn't like throw on the, the brakes all the way. But I, I'm, I'm glad he didn't. He does a turnover. He's going to miss a lot of those. That is alright. Still get some uh, torpedoes into you. I knew he was slowing down. I was kind of assuming he would speed back up after slowing down. But, uh, you know. Put some shots into him as I bravely run away. And shoot, uh, more islands. I should have shot those, uh, a bit farther over. I think it would have hit more of them. But, uh, you know. And he gets nuked by, uh, Grantham. Who's Grantham? Oh, I didn't see who, who did it. Anyways, pretty good game in the uh, Mayhem. Lots of fun. Destruction. I'm always happy about that. 
sailed around and my intent was to go chase this uh, Miyogi but there's a Cleveland that was a lot closer so my uh, attention is diverted because it's like it's like squirrel kill it and Captain Booty Call said hello He has a YouTube channel. You can go check it out. For sure, it's Captain Booty Call. That's the name of the channel. It's, uh... Last time I looked at it, it seemed like he played mainly destroyers. I don't know what it is now. Anyway, some parting shots for our Cleveland. I'm not really interested in getting close to him. Set him on fire. That's me. Again, bravely run away. Lance is doing a good job of killing that gentleman. And game over. So, the the effectiveness of the, the AP shells for these destroyers, for the American destroyers at close range against the tier 5 and under cruisers are surprisingly effective if you get in a situation like that. I don't either generally like to be that close to them, but you know, if you find yourself there, they're flat to you, you add a torpedoes, switch to AP and uh, let her rip. 22,000 damage with the AP. Got some HE hitch in there too. Seven torpedo hits. Always makes you happy. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the uh, gameplay. Come back and see me. Shoot more people in the face. Hope you enjoyed.